Good morning, NCCP and friends. Good morning. Hi, Pastor John. Good morning, Pastor Melissa. It's been another great week here in the parish, and it's a beautiful Friday morning. Uh, the sun is out, and the temperatures are cool, and uh, just a great fall morning. It is certainly football weather and football season. Go Redskins. We finally... Go Ravens. Um, and the Ravens had a great week um, against the Steelers. And the Redskins got off to a great start, so we have to do it again this week. We're having a uh, rally day and a Raven party at Grace this Sunday. And so you can join us there for worship, uh, Sunday school activities, and party gets started at 9.15. And the uh, rally day worships at 10.30. And then there's actually a party um, afterward, uh, a Ravens party. They're actually going to watch the game and have some of my hot chili and other good food. So everyone's welcome. And uh, so uh, check us out there if you can. But I'm getting ahead of myself because we got on the topic of football. But go ahead. It's always <laughs> distracting to you. <laughs> it is. Um, we just wanted to lift up a couple of really important things that are going on very soon. Uh, Thursday night, the 22nd, starts our Bible study. And so that will be 7 p.m. at Grace. And we're going to be looking at the book of Hebrews. And then if you prefer a daytime study, we'll be doing the same study Fridays at 11 a.m. So it's, it's open to anybody who wants to come from throughout the parish because we're going to and rotate. And friends and family. And for, yeah, we're going to um, rotate throughout the churches for this six-week study. So I hope that you'll be there. That's, and we also talked about a lot of opportunities last week for missional um, outreach and opportunities. And the missions page is updated and there's some important links about the crop walk and about the blood drive for the parish and about change the world and so be sure to check back at the website it took a few days but we did get some information and some important links um, that crop walk is a great opportunity for parish-wide missions and so when you uh, get to the website you'll be able to check that out and it's a local uh, opportunity that affects the whole world and so we're looking forward to that if you're looking for a fellowship opportunity that we really want to get the word out um, around the parish, uh, there is a golf tournament on October the 4th, and we are really in need of some more teams for that. So if you want to, um, it's actually a special fundraiser for the Roof Fund at St. John's, but we want to encourage the whole community to come out. And um, so many ministries, such as the Faith Feast, are housed in, in that building that all of our churches participate in. Um, also programs like NA and AA. So we want to be able to, to help with that in any way that we can. I was going to golf, but I'm not cleared to from my doctor. But um, hopefully some of you who are golfers can uh, take some time off and be part of that. And I bowled this week. Uh, Melissa's supposed to be on the bowling team, <laughs> but um, I am very sore. I didn't know you could get sore from bowling. Uh, but I just mentioned that because, you know, we are getting to know the neighborhood, the community, and we feel right at home um, in the bowling alley. Um, even though I'm not a great bowler, I had lots of fun. Pastor and, uh, John usually bowls on the Wii, so he's yeah, not a used Wii to bowler. having a real and ball And so to hold up <laughs> big heavy ball and bowl it, I'm very sore. So hopefully by next week I'll be in better shape and better prepared to bowl. So... But all of that aside, that kind of... Well, joke. and I also wanted to mention, too, about just getting to know the community. We, we had our first gathering at the Parsonage, and uh, last night we met with some young adults, and it was awesome. And we got to know them very well, you know, or begin that process of getting to know one another. And they told us some wonderful things about themselves and their families, and also about the churches. And, uh, and so we just look forward to the next gathering, which will be family uh, with families with children. Uh, which will be coming up. Just check your bulletin for that date, and we hope to see you there. Uh, and I just want to leave you today with a word from First Thessalonians, the chapter 1, um, verse 4. Brothers and sisters, you are loved by God, and we know that he has chosen you. We know this because our good news didn't come to you just in speech, but also with power and the Holy Spirit, and with deep conviction. That's a word for all of us. God loves you. He's chosen you. And so as we're looking around the parish at returning to God, remembering our roots, remembering uh, why our faith is important to us, 
that is what where we start, that God loves us. So we hope that you will reclaim that, remember that, and return to church. Come back to worship, to Sunday school, to Bible study, and to all of the other opportunities you have to continue to grow in your life of faith. And we certainly hope to see you. And worship's been really exciting with all the rally days. And uh, it's a great opportunity to fall in love with God all over again and to be reminded that God loves us and has called us. Um, at Greenmount this past week, we had rally day with the Itzel family. And, and so just kicked off the Sunday school season. And, and this week again, or last week, we had our two services at St. John's. And that went really well with the contemporary and traditional both. And then uh, this week... At Grace, and so we're just real excited still, and and everything's going really well, and and we're getting to know you, you're getting to know us, and uh, just come and see us again this Sunday, uh, wherever God brings you, and until we meet again, may God bless you. Amen. Take Amen. care.